let us talk about ethical hacking today and in this we are going to introduce first what is ethical hacking hackers then types of hackers hacking process why do we need ethical hacking what is hacking and why do we need ethical hacking and what are the required skills of an ethical hacker and what do hackers do after hacking advantages disadvantages and future enhancements conclusion we'll also see that what certification is required for being a ethical hacker so ethical hacking also known as penetration testing or white hat hacking if uh, somebody says penetration testing or a white hat hacking so this is similar to ethical hacking and it this involves uh, same tools the tricks and techniques that hackers use these hackers are unethical or people who are not uh, hacking legally okay uh, but with one major difference that ethical hacking is legal so it is legal uh, but normal hacking is illegal but this ethical hacking or hacking is not at all legal in all countries right somebody says i am a ethical hacker i can hack no it has to be legal there the ethical hacking uh this is independent computer security professionals or people or technocrats breaking into computer systems through software through network through internet various uh, forms are there and neither damage the target system nor steal information so their intent is not to damage or misconduct or to steal an ethical hacker they evaluate target system security and report back to owners about the vulnerability found so if software developer has made or a project has been made and you are using a software if there are any loopholes or vulnerability then ethical hacker will tell you or will give you a report that these are the point where somebody may break in who are hackers see we have not used ethical here who are hackers a person who enjoys learning details of programming language or system a person who enjoys actually doing the programming rather than theorizing about it a person capable of appreciating someone else hacking and a person who pick up programming quickly so to be a hacker this is required that he or she has to be a good programmer but not a necessary thing a person who is an expert at a particular programming language or system all those are in the category of hackers so various types of hackers are there three are outlined here first is black hat hacker then we have white hat hacker then we have gray hat hacker who are they let us start with black hat hacker a black hat hacker or crackers in other words crackers are those individuals with extraordinary computing skills resorting to malicious and destructive activity so their intention is malicious and destruction that is black hat hackers uh, you know they use their knowledge and skill for their own personal gains probably by hurting others basically how they hurt others they take out money from somebody's account to gain themselves and in return the other uh, party get hurt then comes the white hat hacker white hat hacker are those individuals uh, these have uh, good hacker skills and using them for defensive purposes good purposes so this means that these white hat hackers use their knowledge and skill for the good of others and for the common good so they are good people a good technocrats then comes the gray hat hackers 
So these are the individuals who work both offensively and defensively at various times. Say for X people or for X companies, they are good. For Y companies, they are bad. So we cannot predict their behavior. Sometimes they use their skills for the common good, while sometime or some other time they use uh, them for their personal gains. Now, what is the hacking processor? This is similar for any of the hacker which we just saw. Footprinting, first of all, then scanning, then gaining accent, and then maintaining the access. We'll see them in short. Footprinting means actually finding out. So who is lookup is there, NS lookup or IP lookup. So first of all, they have to observe. This is a point of observing. So the hacker needs to observe. And there are various points of observance where they can actually peep in or get inside. Then they scan. They scan the port. Some port is there, data is coming. They scan, scan this port. Then there are various networks, right? There are various networks. They are all connected, say, like this. So they scan this network. They scan, they all, they see. Uh, they have various software, various triggers which are there, which tells them, okay, there is something going on. And they take out the information. Then fingerprinting. Like, uh, whatever is there, they just print it or get the information. Then firewalking, this is also a type of scanning. The most this uh, scanning and observance is done, the other is gaining the access. So the gaining access comes from, first of all, getting the password, that means password tags, then social engineering, and mostly the viruses. Viruses are actually the program, malicious program, which are meant, which are like your programs, but they are written with an intent to uh, destroy something, to, you know, create havoc or uh, try to make your computer not work. Then maintaining access. This is, you know, once you have done it, then you can have a uh, maintaining access like OS uh, uh, backdoors, the Trojans or clear tracks. So why do we need ethical hacking? Why do we require people who can hack but, but are good people? Certainly from protection against possible external attack. And in this we have various things like social engineering, automated attacks, denial of, denial of services, Virus, Trojan horses and bombs, accidental breach of security. This is the restricted area and organizational attack. People who are disgruntled also they can uh, peep in and try to misuse or take advantage. For all these type of attacks which are born or which are susceptible to any kind of people who are interested in damaging or getting access, for them you need good people who can stop that. What are the required skills of an ethical hacker? Microsoft, skills in operation, configuration and management for Linux, knowledge of Linux and Unix, security setting of Linux configuration and services, and firewalls, configuration of the firewall and the operation intrusion detection system. These are some of the required skill of an ethical hacker. Then uh, continuing, routers. You need to know the knowledge of routers, uh, routing uh, protocols and access control list, then mainframes, what are they, how they work, how they perform, then network protocols like TCP, IP, how they function and can be manipulated, and project management like leading, planning, organizing, and controlling a penetration testing team. All these are required from an ethical or from an ethical hacker. So what do ha hackers do after hacking? Why do, do they hack and what do they do after hacking? They patch the security hole, means they uh, maybe they inform people, they give a report or they try to patch the security hole. The other hackers can't intrude. If you fill a hole, the other person cannot uh, get inside. Clear logs and hide themselves. 
then install a root key that is the back door the hacker who hacked the system can use the system data so it contained trojan viruses and so on and they install some program like irc yeah these are all the name of the program they install this is how they hack and they uh, do various things maybe ethical or unethical hackers they do they both do the same stuff and they install the scanner program like MScan, SSScan and MAP, then install exploit program, then install denial of service program, use all of install program silently. These are the act of uh, hackers on your system. Then certified ethical hacker like you know, for every person to be good or to be usable or uh, employed, they need some certification. So certified ethical hacker CEH, uh, this is a qualification obtained in assessing the security of computer system using penetration testing techniques, penetration techniques, uh, these testing techniques. And the code of the CEH, the CEH exam is 31250 and the verification is in version 9 as of late 2015 we are talking. And penetration tests are usually employed by an organization who trusts them to attempt to penetrate networks or computer systems for the purpose of finding and fixing community uh, security vulnerabilities. If it is, if any problem is there, this is the task of penetration testers or ethical hacker to find out. Also, the unauthorized hacking that is gaining access to the computer system without prior authorization from the owner, which is a crime in most of the countries, but Penetration testing done by request of owner of the victim system or networks is not. If I am asking you to be on my front door and um, and try to guard, then it is not illegal. But if you are standing without my uh, you know pursual or without my uh, acceptance, that is wrong. Also, uh, European uh, Council, this EC Council, offers another certification, uh, which is known as Certified uh, National Network Defense Architect CNDA. And this certification is designed for United States government agencies and is available only to members of selected agencies. So other than the name, the content of the course is exactly the same. The exam code CNDA is 31299. So 31250 and 31299. And these are the two uh, certifications. What are the advantages? To catch a thief, you have to think like a thief. This is the good line for hackers, ethical hackers. Uh, helps in closing the open holes in the, your uh, system network, provide security to banking and financial establishment, prevent website uh, defacement and evolve technique because once the vulnerability is found, this is for every every you know uh, similar software application. But there are certain disadvantages. All depends upon the trustworthiness of the ethical hacker. If ethical hacker becomes a hacker, then what? And hiring professionals because you need to have a very very highly skilled person for for to stop uh, the the crime to happen right or that for those, that person is maybe some sometimes it is quite expensive so at is, as it is uh, an evolving branch uh, the scope of advancement is uh, technology is immense no ethical hacker can ensure the system security by using the same technique repeatedly. Not a foolproof, but uh, most of the uh, holes which are being left by the developers can be found, and more enhanced software should be used for optimal protection. This is our in future, it is going to happen. So, we saw the methodology of hacking why should we be aware of hacking and some tools which a hacker may use? Now, we can say that we can do against hacking and to protect ourselves from hacking. 